Call it a declaration of war and you may not be wrong. It's a battle to rid River State of illegal oil refining activities which have posed major environmental challenges in the state. Leading the fight is Governor Nyesom Wike. After personally assessing the site and holding series of meetings on the subject matter, Governor Wike directs the 23 council chairman to destroy identified sites. Days after the directive, earth moving equipment are being mobilized to deep forests and acquire a local government area for the task. For the council chairman, the task is daunting but must be accomplished. We have identified over 112 sites, cooking sites, mostly, majority of them, about 99% of them are in one community called Obodo, which is a community close to OML 17 Major Line, Shell Line. This battle we are taking it head on, there is no going back until all the results are achieved. And never again will we allow our people to go back to Egypt. We will never allow it to happen again. To completely end this economic sabotage and menace to the environment, a former chieftain of the All Progressives Congress is adding his voice to the call for the provision of modular refineries in the region. Now, you want to build modular refineries. Good idea. Will it be built? After the federal government will have released money to the contractors, will they build it? Will they build it? Me, I pray that God should keep us alive. I want to see. When I see it, that is when I believe it. Because the intention is good, but how about the implementation? In the days ahead, more local government areas are expected to take similar action as the WIKI administration has made this battle a top priority.